Authorities are reminding people to stay off the ice as spring approaches. A rescue mission was launched yesterday to help people stranded on Lake Pepin when ice separated. Our Megan Zempel joins us live in Lake City with more details. Megan, what can you tell us? Hi, Caitlin. Um, I'm near where the incident happened. We're in Frontenac right now um, off of near Miss the Mississippi River and Lake Pepin. I am actually here. I'm joined by Sheriff uh, Kelly, Goodhue County Sheriff Kelly, to, to tell us, Sheriff, what happened yesterday? Well, at about, I think it was 639 last evening, we got a call um, from someone actually out on the ice that it said it broke through or broke away. And... Uh, six adults and three children were stranded out there. Um, there was 15 to 20 feet of water between all, on all ends of the island, if you will. And we can see some open water right now, right behind us. Sheriff Kelly, uh, you said that this is actually the site also of what happened. Uh, was that in January when those vehicles went into the ice? Can you explain that to us? Right. January 21st, we had about 12 vehicles parked right out here where we're looking, um, ice fishermen, fishermen. Six of them, six of the cars actually went through and were totaled. And unfortunately, uh, three weeks after that, an ATV went in, same place we're at today, um, and had to be pulled out with a wrecker. Uh, so this is not a, this is a familiar place for us. What are some dangers, especially with this being on the Mississippi River when it comes to ice? We were just talking to someone earlier uh, before just a few minutes ago, and they said there was about 20 inches of ice, and we were talking, that's not really comfortable for us. Right, the fishermen that just went out there on an ATV, they're in the middle of the, the waterway. It could, it could be 20 inches there, but it could be 2 inches, 20 feet from them. Just because of the running water underneath, it's, this isn't a stagnant lake. Um, it's called a lake, but it's it's still a river, right? So the, the conditions are always changing, and, and it's very scary. What is the warning? So today is the last day to get your ice shacks off the lake. We we do see a couple out there right now. Hopefully they will get those out. We did see a four-wheeler. What's the warning to people at this point? <laughs> well, as you can Obviously, see, we have yes. the thin ice warnings out Um we need to be cognizant of our of our surroundings always. You, you can see behind me the open water only about 30 yards offshore. Um, and it could, like I say, it could change. Those ice shacks that are on, those, those are portables. They can be out after this date, but it was the permanent ones that needed to be off. And I believe they all are. Sure, final question, Sheriff. Um, what all goes into water rescue, something like this? Well, a lot of resources and a lot of time and a lot of manpower. If it wasn't for one of my sergeants that were working that last night that knew a little bit, he wasn't even our water patrol, but he knew a little bit to run our airboat and did. And he ultimately saved the lives of those nine people. Because as you know, the, w the weather was coming in. It was whiteout conditions. It was start the wind started picking up, and that ice drift started moving quite a bit. Um, so it's the resources, and, and thank God we have them and the people that know what to do. And we also, when we go out there in a snowstorm and, and ice and in a airboat, we're also risking our lives. So there's, uh, there's more to think about when you just strap on your boots to go ice fishing. Thank you so much, Sheriff uh, Kelly, for all that helpful, very important information. Well, you heard it, stay off the ice. It is not safe. Uh, li reporting live in Frontenac, Megan Zempel, KTTC News. All right, Meg